everyone thank you so much for watching once again i'm here in my bathroom i'm karina welcome to new subscribers i'm going to be doing some looks during the next 13 weeks of summer and actually the first one already went up last week i will link it at the end of this video it was the bright uh ice lit look you know, in blue, in that cobalt blue from Incredible Cosmetics, that uh, cream eyeshadow. I'm just going to be doing 13 weeks of bright looks for summer, and that would be the hashtag. So if you want to try them, you know, you're welcome to let me know and hashtag me. And, you know, I don't know, maybe I can include in some Pinterest page or something. I'm not going anywhere this summer, probably not going anywhere this year at all. I had two big trips planned, but I don't think, you know, they're going to take place at all. At least one is not. And the other one, I don't think. So I'll just take up, you know, next year or then. I don't know. I don't know. This is just terrible. But I do have tons of products and looks that I can do. So you probably see me do a lot more of those. So we're going to start today. I want to use some new products that I have. And one is this glitter. I don't know if you have to see the effect there. This is from a company called MBA Cosmetics. They are an Etsy shop. And look at this glitter. Can you see the effect here? Does it show? I don't know. Anyway, it's called Dragonfly and it's green with pink. And we're going to use it in this kind of bright summer look. It's not going to be that intense in the eyes, but yes, I'm going to use that glitter. So I moisturized my face and did all my skincare. My skincare for this quarantine period is also on a video, which I will link also at the end. I'm going to use the NARS Pro Prime all over the eyelid. This particular primer, and also a little bit underneath. This particular primer is very good if you suffer from puffiness on the eyes because it has anti-inflammatory properties so I remember when I used to have my scar which actually I'm on anniversary it's been a year my scar journey and my accident and all that is also something that I have recorded in a video which I can link also and yeah it's been a year and it's almost gone I mean it is there but it's not something you know it's not very visible and also my eye here is almost totally lifted something that it was very very difficult at the time okay i'm going to use this lime green as you can see loose eyeshadow powder this is a famous paula dorf sheer crease brush which is sold out Good luck finding it. And this is actually a sample product that I got from a company called Concrete Minerals, which I ordered six of their eyeshadows, which I will be doing looks later on. And this was actually a sample that they sent me. So I'm going to use this all over my eye, all over. So that's both eyes, and obviously there is drop down, so I'm going to clean underneath. Obviously, this is a loose eyeshadow, so yes, you are going to have drop down. Cleaning that now. For what I plan to do, I am going to stop with the color. 
So we're gonna leave that part done and I'm gonna jump to the skin and I have this product Revlon Use Effects and this is called a fill and blur primer for forehead well when you start having scars the scars of life and scars in your forehead or you know for the elevenses anything like that this product is actually quite good it actually works and i use it on my forehead i don't know if it's available anymore but i like to use it with this particular foundation which is called also Revlon Use Effects and I this is Sand Beige Beige Sable 210 I think they, they still have this particular foundation so it needs to dry okay until it dries you can continue with your the rest of your makeup I'm gonna let it dry a bit so anyway the foundation has this consistency it's very creamy it has SPF 20 okay and it's going to apply it's, it's very good for pore minimizing this texture I'm going to apply with this particular brush um, start with my finger and then use the brush this is a darker color that I bought for the summer and I don't know if you can see but it spreads really nice look at this side and well this one see where I don't have the spots of foundation It spreads really nice really minimizes pores and it's a very good coverage which I like So I love that uniformity. <clears throat> For concealer, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier. This is Flawless Fusion. And I think it's 2W. Again, a darker color. Well, when I am in summer situation. I did my tanning for my face and my body last night so before I do the glitter I'm going to finish with my concealer because I plan to bring it down you'll see okay, I'm using this pointy brush from Coyudo which I'll link below I'll pick up more of the lime green powder and I'm going to finish here And it doesn't matter if it comes a little bit thick it is a little bit of an editorial look but just finish the whole eye area okay I'm going to use this glitter glue by Too Faced and looks pretty much like a concealer okay but it's really good for glitter I'm using this angle brush because I want to be very precise in placing it. I'm going to place it in a triangle. I'm going to draw a triangle here. In my eyelid. And that's where I'm going to go and place the glitter. All right, so 
you can place it I started with my finger and then continued with the same brush uh, it's very volatile okay but the effect is really nice you may have to clean up with a powder brush another thing that is very handy to have when you're using glitter is scotch tape because you place it and I don't know if you see, but see, it, keep, it picks up pretty much everything in your face. Um, I don't mind having it down there because I want to bring it down a little underneath the eye. So same in the other eye. I'll say one thing for this uh, product, the eye glitter glue kind of dries quickly so you need to act quickly there you go and a little underneath which is good to do with the brush I think so that's pretty much the effect going to do something finish the eyes now have this sort of holographic pink from Urban Decay which just typical of Urban Decay it's not in very good shape but you can see the pink there I'm going to do out there lashes curl them with this very colorful Revlon curler which I think it was by Isaac Mizrahi and I'm going to use white and this is this white is from Anna Sui obviously if you want to do less beauty tutorials you can do a darker mascara but I, I thought this would be fun I'm going to do my eyebrows a combination of these two which I have shown before they're from Kat Von D and these are great for the summer because they are waterproof I'm gonna try and do kind of a straight eyebrow uh, brush. I don't know, I think when <clears throat> you have light eyes in the sense that, you know, my mascara is so light, I think um, adding a strong eyebrow will help always. Because after all, it's all about balance. So, all right, so concealer wheel and some pinpoint concealing here. I'm going to use some banana powder by Graftobian and this is that powder blush from Sephora which is kind of flat in a way and I'm gonna do here to illuminate this low area between the just underneath my cheekbone and my jaw just in between Okay, and I can put some here as well. Banana powder is really good for summer, for illuminating actually in the summer. For my bronzer, I'm going to use this one. This is Cover Fit by Reserve Naturel, start here and then these cheekbones, um, by Adopt, which is a high street cosmetic brand from France. Lovely, affordable cosmetics made in Italy. I have shown you some things that I have from them. 
as well. I have this very pretty tiny highlighter from Nomad and it's really nice. I use here on the bottom of my top lip and on my nose is so tiny but so effective. Maybe also here in my the top of my cheekbone. Because after all, this is a very highlighted look. I mean, well, with all the glitter and all that, so. See the highlight? I hope you can pick up. And this um, brush from Tarte really is the perfect tool to apply something like this. Okay, so you can go very retro or you can go very fresh. This is a new product by Nude Stick that I have. All these products come in these boxes. Some people have criticize the boxes as you know excess packaging but I don't know uh, there's the explanation here it's a tin actually but the nude stick people say that you know because basically they have a very neutral brand that can be used by both men and women a man can carry something like this and still you know not be able to tell that He's carrying makeup. More and more men, not necessarily gay men, but also straight men are using makeup nowadays, which I think is great um, because we all need a bit of help. This particular one I'm going to use is not neutral. It's probably the one color that they have out there. It's a gloss. Feels really lovely. It's like in a strawberry color. I. We'll link the color below but I think it really pulls up the look maybe a little bit of uh, blush hmm it feels minty it's not sticky and yet it's a gloss lovely formula I'm gonna use a touch of blush with this from Ritual de Fille this is called Rapture and just to echo the color in my lips and then don't, don't look so disjointed all right and here we are look number two of the 13 weeks of bright looks for summer with this eye glitter uh, i think it's still a fresh look obviously a summer look it's a little bit editorial but it's fun you can go out there, you know, if you're going out at night in a bar where you can, or even, you know, for a party, every time you blink, you have this glitter, very fun. So thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, any links of relevance, all products used below. I shall see you in my next video. Bye.